Yo, Philly 254 living life. Back at it. So the Steam Deck finally has a built-in video recorder or screen recorder. And it has its ups and downs, but it's in beta mode. So you're not going to see it immediately. You'll have to update your Steam Deck or change your Steam Deck to the beta client. So let's take a look at it real quick. So real quick, in order to switch it to beta client, let's go to your settings, go down to system, and you see where it says system update channel, you want to switch that to beta. It's going to do a little, little update, going to restart your Steam Deck, and then next thing you know, you got it. So first things first, how do you actually record? Well, there's a couple of ways. So before we do anything, let's go take a look at this. You go to settings, because there are two, mode, two ways to record. Go down, all the way down, below, below storage, you'll see game recording. So initially, I think it's gonna be set to recording recording the background. Basically, it re constantly records in the background and then you can kind of go back and clip what you need out of it, right? Then you have, you know, off. It's so the option is, just, there is no option to record in the first place. Pretty simple. And then you have record on demand. That's pretty awesome. Pretty, just like, um, I guess I'll just like the other options. Very simple to understand. You record when you want to record. It doesn't record in the background. You record when you want to record. Now you can't have both the background recording and the record on demand on at the same time. So just kind of FYI on that. So you go a little go a little forward down go a little downward. You see option delete background recordings. You pretty much do that whenever you have the record in the background off or set to record on demand. Go a little more. You can see the record the recording quality, GPU hardware encoding and whatnot. And then you have your quick key sh shortcuts for the actual recording. So Steam plus the Y button will actually, well, I'm sorry, Steam plus the A button will actually start the recording and stop the recording. And then the shortcut is Steam and Y. Right below that, which for so far, this still is kind of grayed out, but you can choose what audio. I suppose if you have a different a mic or something connected, perhaps that'll work. I should try that out, check and let you know. Now, this is not the only way you can do things. You can also, which you may not show it here actually, because and that's one other thing, it only records straight gameplay. So let me double check and verify this option's even here. And yeah, it's not even there. So if you go, if you're not if you're not in a game, you're not even gonna see the recording option when you go to the quick menu setting, the quick settings. But let's say we're gonna go to a game. We'll go to multiverses real fast. And it's already loading, so it actually should already be there by now if I, if I check look, let's see. Oh, hold up, never mind. Had to load up the game. All right, now that the game's loaded up, click your quick settings button, go over to the actual quick settings gear icon, go down and you'll see game recording. And right there, you can record from right there if you want to. Pretty simple, right? So let's do, do a quick little recording test right here. Steam plus Y, recording started, right? It's gonna do its thing. So I'm just gonna go in here, press a button to some, let it do its whatever, no, no big thing. And I'm just gonna stain plus, I said stain plus Y, stain plus A is what I pressed, by the way. I'm just gonna stop it real quick because it's not really much going on. And there you go. Now, there's one other note here. You hold the steam button there and you will see all the quick shortcuts or whatnot. You can pretty much change them and alter them if you want to. So, right at the very top, you'll see the game recording and whatnot. So, it kind of lets you know what's going on. So, while the game is actually playing or while the game is loaded up, you can actually, so we go to the multiverses, you'll see game recording. And right there, you'll see a couple options there. Again, you can start recording from right there if you wanted to. Then you, you have to use a stick to control it. Well, no, you can't, never mind. I was gonna say you, have to, you can't use the gamepad, but I'm using a stick right now. So it kinda, again, again, it reminds you, Steam plus Y. So you can start recording from here if you want to. You can view your recordings and you can check the recording settings. And now if you hit the recording settings, it's going to take you back to the very first menu where it showed all the various um, settings and whatnot to go, you know, you know, all the different settings that you want to go manual recording or whatnot. And start recording is pretty self-evident. View recordings, that's where you want to take a look at some things. Now you can see a couple of times I, I was testing some things out from right here. And one thing you, you will note that when recording, it only records straight gameplay. No overlays. So if you're playing your game, maybe you're recording a video for someone else, like for myself doing a walkthrough of this. That's why I'm kind of doing it this way because 
it doesn't record any of the overlays. So when I press the Steam button to show all these different menu options and whatnot while the game's recording, it doesn't show that. All it shows is the multiverse screen still recording. It doesn't record the actual overlays or whatnot. So that's kind of FYI on that. So you can kind of take check this out real quick. So we're going to go here. The little cut that I made right there. Now, once you're in there, you have a couple of options. Obviously, you can press play and play it. I think not much playing here because I think I just let it play just nothing. So let's go to one of this right here. There you go. So you have a couple of options when it's playing like that, right? You can cut it, make a few more clips. So that's real simple and that's real simple. So right here, this, the scissors on the left kind of makes things go, go to the left. Scissors on the right can make things go to the right. You can kind of record, start over real simple and then you have the option to download or should i say save the clip so in order to save the clip confirms the save or whatever you changed and there you go or you can send it to another device and when you when you send it to another device it automatically goes to the pc that you have connected to steam if you have a pc connected to steam now the thing is that pc you have connected to steam you have to make sure it is also on the beta channel if not, you won't see your recordings. I, I ran through that issue at first because my, my Steam client on PC was not on the beta channel. So just kind of FYI on that. So what other options do we have here? You can send it to your phone, which is an option. You can send a clip to your phone because of course you have the Steam. If you have the Steam app on your phone, that's also an option. Now, the, the big thing to kind of keep in mind about, let me see if I can find one with an example may not have one no okay the big thing to keep in mind is if you really large recordings if it's over 100 megabytes it will not be sent to your pc or you won't really have an option to send it to pc or anything because you have to clip it down to under 100 megabytes so you have to clip it down this kind of fyi same thing with going to the phone if i remember correctly and i could be wrong i'll throw it up on the screen if i'm wrong it has to be like 50 megabytes so anything over 50 it has to be clipped down to 50 just kind of fyi on that now, once you've done all that, you can go on your PC or whatever. You can go ahead and edit it however you want to. You can actually, right now, it's saved in a, in a raw format, so you really can't do much with it when it's in a clip form like this. But when you have it on your PC, you can convert it or export it to MP4. But, but, here's the thing. You don't, that's not the only way to do it. So, let's go over here. If you go to your desktop mode, so which is what we're going to do right now. Switch to desktop. Now the cool thing about it is, since you're on a Steam Beta client on the game mode, gaming mode of Steam Deck, you'll be on the Steam Beta client on the desktop mode Steam client itself. So you don't have to do it on both. So let's just say you don't really have it on your PC, but you want it for MP4, you don't, I don't know, upload it to your G Drive, Google Drive, or Dropbox, or whatever. However you want to kind of get it off, off of your Steam Deck, because it's just too big. And you don't want to clip it, let's just put it that way. Well, you have a new option. All right, so real talk, Steam Deck completely crashed a few seconds ago, so I had to cut all that out. For me, I had to restart the whole Steam Deck. One of the, I guess, the issues of being on a beta client, sometimes you get some, you'll get some crashes, so it happens. So as I was saying, what you can do, if, you, if, you do, if the clip is just too large for you to export it or export it the way you want to to your PC or your phone, because you have the option to get it to your phone, but you have another option. Go to your desktop mode on your Steam Deck, open up your steam client you go to view go down to recording the screenshots and there goes all your recordings right so i think all my recordings are pretty much within the range where they should be but let's just say it wasn't right so when you go up here you have another option export video file you can export it and it will, will be exported to mp4 format you click that and you choose where you want it to go, you name it, whatever you want to name it, and it gets exported. I'm not going to do it because it's just the, the actual multiverses splash screen. So, But you totally have that option on the desktop side. Again, all this is just beta, so hopefully this will be cleaned up, and maybe this type of option will be added to the the actual game gaming mode version of the, of the same app, so that way we don't have to go to desktop just to export it to MP4. Here's hoping. Now, how does this compare to Decky? If you notice, I'm doing this this way be, instead of just having Decky recorded or whatever. 
because when you're in the beta client, Decky doesn't work. Decky doesn't exist on the beta client. That's, it's not compatible. So I lost Decky to do this. So I had to kind of go go with this old school mode. So how does it compare to Decky though? It's cool that it is built in. I like that. And, and I like all the options of exporting, all the various options of exporting. I'm hoping that limitation, the limits are kind of changed because right now I had a, I thought I deleted it, but I had like a six minute video of multiverses of me playing multiverses. Yeah, that was a no go as far as exporting straight to, you know, my, my PC or my phone or whatever, because it was too long, too large. Wasn't going to happen. Uh, Decky, that wouldn't be an issue, but of course, Decky, I would have to go to desktop mode anyway and either physically connect the device to the Steam Deck to transport the the files, or I'd have to upload it to Dropbox or Google Drive. So either way, I'd have to go to desktop mode in order to do that. That's why this doesn't bother me as much, but I'm hoping I would love the ability to do it from straight to gaming mode, straight from gaming mode without having to do too much. Um, going to desktop mode you know just it, i don't know just it's simpler just keep it simple you know what i'm saying so as far as that's concerned that's not a huge difference as far as deck is concerned uh comparing it to decky but one big thing is as you saw well again this is only i won't really blame this it's still in beta but i guess if those features are there then at least you know make them a bit more flexible you know as in another thing is the screen record only works while gaming. If you're trying to screen record, I don't know, your your gaming screen, your catalog screen of your, of your Steam Deck, that ain't gonna happen because you can't. It only records gameplay. You can try to be clever and start the game and then click your Steam button and go to screen, you know, go to the home screen of your Steam Deck while the game's technically loaded in the background. It's still only recording the game. It's not, rec it's recording the game, what's going on in the game, not what's on you, exactly what's going on on the screen. So when you go back to look at the recording, you're just going to be looking at whatever screen you left your game on. Uh, trust me, I've already tried. I'm hoping that becomes an option. I'm going to check out and verify if maybe you can record on a mic. I didn't connect my mic to this. I'm, I might throw it on the screen or something, talk about it, maybe in the short or something, I don't know. But I'm going to check it out and see if that is a thing. Um, other than that, and comparing it to Decky, it's the ease of use is even built more than decade because there's a built-in shortcuts you know the steam and y button or steam and a button and then of course you can i didn't mention this earlier you can add certain markers so that way you can go straight to you know whatever spots you want to go to or if you're trying to clip you can add markers to those spots so you can immediately clip it however you want to do it so that's pretty cool of course decky you just get what you get you know you you get you get your video and then that's it but the big thing about decky is once you record your video it's already in mp4 format literally when i go when i do decky i record record what i'm going to record go to desktop mode it's already sitting there in my videos folder and i do what i got to do with the, with the file this one you got to export it and whatnot so that's why i'm also hoping that there's an option to export it via the from the gaming mode instead of having to go to this de the desktop mode and kind of open up the steam client export it from there and then go to my video folder and grab my file and do what i want to do with it you know i'm okay with having to upload it or whatever if that really is what i gotta do i'm already in desktop mode anyway but you know ideally if i could do all that or most of that from the gaming mode that's a clear winner to me so whenever this goes out of beta and comes to the actual live regular steam deck versions which would i suggest as it is it's a coin flip but i would almost still land on decky you know what i'm saying but if they make some improvements you know as far as you know allowing for example if they allowed you to straight up record audio from your mic or something psh, clear winner over decky because decky doesn't let you do that as far and if they up the limits on transferring files to different places that would also be a winner for me but as far as the actual screen recording, it's it's still easier than Decky just because it has shortcuts to do it. You know, Steam plus A. You can't, it's no easier than that, right? Ultimately, it's a pretty cool feature. I like it. Hopefully, they do add some improvements. You know, they change some things up. There already was a, a little bit of an improvement um, update on, well, from the initial announcement or release of it. There already was a small update to kind of do some improvements from there. So, we'll, I'll keep messing with it and see how much more you can do with it and, you know, and see what the more improvements happen you know it is what it is otherwise yeah it's a solid solid feature to the steam deck i'm glad it's finally here should have been here a long time ago to be honest with you but hey take it how you get it if you like more steam deck news walkthroughs lives 
gameplay, like and subscribe. Cruise through the playlist. And I'm out.